Hello, in this video I'm gonna quickly show you how we can use S Pen on Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. It is actually quite simple. So in order to take out the S Pen, we need to push it forward with our finger and then we can take it out. Once we take it out, if you do this for the first time, you will have some sort of welcome message uh, and you can go through it in order to uh, familiarize yourself with the stylus. Uh, but besides that, we have this pen here, this icon that we can tap in order to open some features like drawing assist, AI select, screen write, and so on and so forth. Besides that, we also have settings. If you're looking for settings, you can press this gear icon in order to find some of the options like the air command options. And here we can switch, for example, to the compact view. So now if we press this uh, pen, we have this view instead. And we can also choose shortcuts that we wish to have. So we can use the magnifier, the translation, write on calendar, print up, and so on and so forth. And we can also add apps over here, uh, which can be quite convenient. But let's stick with these for now. We also have show air command, so we can hide this pen icon if needed. And we can also open the air command with pen button. So when we hover our S Pen over the screen and press the, S, um, the pen button, which is over here, we should be able to open the uh, the menu, but or the air command, and there we go, it looks like this. So we need to actually hover over the button, uh, but we need to actually keep it quite close. As you can see, if we press and hold, then we have the description. So only then we can press this button in order to um, in order to turn it on. So unfortunately, you have to keep it quite close because we don't have Bluetooth anymore on this S Pen compared to previous. Um, models. So how we can actually use the S Pen? In general we can use it just like with uh, we can um, in general we can use it just like we use our phone with our finger. Everything that we can do one finger we can just simply do with our S Pen. But some examples are exceptions and as an example if we go to the air command we can enable uh, drawing assist and here we can start drawing something on the screen. We can tap buttons below to draw something, add image or describe what you want to create. So let's say we're gonna uh, choose 3D cartoon and I believe we can tap on this icon in order to start drawing. So let's see, I'm gonna try to draw a simple car and uh, we will see if it will actually draw it. And let's create, let's press generate. And let's wait for the result. And something funky has been generated, uh, which we can then copy, save, and so on and so forth. Um, but let's actually try something more practical uh, because we can use screen white. By choosing screen white, we take a screenshot of the current screen and then we can write something on our screen. Let's actually pick black color and then we can make uh, notes maybe if we can actually make it uh, thicker there we go as you can see we can make notes and then we can save the screenshot uh, besides that it is a little bit more convenient I guess to use circle to search so we can press and hold the um, the home screen uh, sorry the home button and then we can select the area of uh, that we want to search on the internet so it looks like this and then we might get some results uh, there's also one more thing over here, and that is the AI select, which is pretty much the same. Tap or draw around something to see what you can do with it. So, okay, so let's say we're gonna choose this area over here. And what we can do, we can translate, we can use map, we can tap on these two dots in order to create a GIF, set as wallpaper, use generative edit, and so on and so forth. At the bottom, we also have some of, the, uh, some of these options. So I was actually wrong. It's not pretty much the same as um, a circle to search, but some of these tools might be quite convenient to use. Uh, there's also one more thing in terms of taking notes. So if you have your screen locked, you can um, press and hold the button and then tap your screen and then you will be able to create notes. And now we can start writing. As you can see, it looks like this. And if we press save, then it will be saved in Samsung Notes. So now let's actually unlock our device and let's actually move to Samsung Notes. As you can see over here we have our handwritten notes. 
Um, but we can also create a simple notes over here so we can start writing anything we want to. There you go. And then we should be able to convert it into a text. So once you write your text, what you can do is tap on this option over here at the bottom. And then we can select the area of the text, tap on these three dots and we can choose convert to text and then confirm our choice. So this is how it looks like. Of course, we can also draw as well. So for example, if we go to gallery and let's say we're going to edit a photo over here and we should be able to switch to this smiley person here and we can start drawing anything that we wish to draw on the photo and then of course we can save these changes or save as copy and that is about it. Of course we can also convert our sketches into some sort of images so you can use uh, notes for that for example. So once you have your drawing you can tap on this icon with stars at the bottom and then we can choose sketch to image. First we need to select our um, drawing so we can tap once again on the same icon as before for selecting the area. Tap on the icon with stars and then we can choose sketch to image and over here we can choose watercolor illustration pop art again. So I'm gonna choose pop art and let's see what we can create with my sketch. And there we go. We have something like this. We can of course generate one more if needed and we can replace the drawing with this uh, piece of art over here. So that is essentially it. And like I said, we can pretty much do the same thing with the S Pen as we can do with our finger. So if you browse the internet, you can press and hold and then drag it in order to select the text on the internet. And we can translate it by selecting translate here. We can tap on this, these stars again in order to use AI in order to convert it into something else like to bullet points, to table, to summarize, to choose a writing style and so on and so forth. If you find an image, you can press and hold it and then drag it to the left or right side of the phone and then drop it at the bottom in order to open in split screen. And let's say I'm going to choose gallery over here. As you can see, I have an image taken out of the website and I can do pretty much whatever I want to with it. Most Well, this is just the gallery, so not much can be done actually. But let's try one more time. And this time, let's see if we can... Whoops, one more time. Let's see if we can actually open it in something else. Okay, maybe not. Uh, but let's see what else we can also do. We can use drumming assist, extract text or clip subject. So we're gonna, as an example, I'm gonna choose clip subject and let's see how it works. There we go. And of course we can save it as an image if we want to so that the image is saved on our phone, which is once again something that we can do with our finger because as you can see, if I press and hold with my finger, it also works, but I guess, uh, this is just to show you that with the pen you can do the same thing. Once you are done with your S Pen, simply hide it back, put it back into that hole and push it with your finger. And that is it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!